सेकंड हाय गाइस वेलकम बैक टू ट्वेंटी थर्ड पार्ट ऑफ द ऑडिनो ट्यूटोरियल इन माय प्रीवियस वीडियोस आई हैव शोन हाउ यू कैन कंट्रोल अ डीसी मोटर एंड एन एलईडी यूजिंग अ स्मार्टफोन एंड ब्लूटूथ टुडे आई विल बी शोइंग यू हाउ यू कैन मेक योर ओन ब्लूटूथ कंट्रोल कार विथ वेरी ईजी स्टेप्स फॉर दिस यू नीड एन ऑडिनो बोर्ड HC05 Bluetooth module, DC motors. I'm using four motors, but you can also go with two motors. I had already made a video on making four-wheel RC car, so I'm using the same frame here. You can check out that video tutorial link in the i button. Motor driver. I'm going with L298 and motor driver. You can also go with L293D. A 12 volt battery. jumper wires and a smartphone the connection is quite simple to power the bluetooth module connect 5 volt to the vcc of the arduino board and ground will go to ground rx pin of hc05 will go to tx of the arduino that is pin 1 and tx of hc05 will go to rx of arduino it's pin 0 so coming to the motor if you are using two motors then for other two you can use empty shafts but for four motors you have to make one side motors parallel connection so here this and this motors are in parallel connection positive positive and negative negative will be connected together similar to other side and the common connection i have taken here so motor driver so this is for motor 1 and this for motor 2 we will connect the motor motors first for detailed information on all these components are available in our audio tutorial playlist so if you want to know more you can just check out that tutorial for the control pins i am connecting audio digital pin 6 and 7 to input 1 and input 2 and audio digital pin 8 and 9 to input 3 and input 4 so this 12 volt and ground will be connecting to the 12 volt power supply and again this 5 volt and ground will go to arduino v in and ground so we'll be powering the arduino board from the motor driver itself for complete circuit you can visit the link in the description box Now let's move on to the coding part. Before watching this video, you have to completely watch our two previous tutorials on HC05. Then you can easily understand this video. So let's start with the declaration. We are using two motors, so we need four digital pins in in data type. Input one connected to pin six. input 2 to 7 input 3 to 8 and input 4 to 
So we'll make all these pins as output inside the setup. Inside the loop section, in order to get the data from the serial buffer, we need to add some lines so which I have explained in detail in my previous tutorial. So I'll be taking it directly from there. And this line just checks if there is any data in the serial buffer and if it's there, so this line will read it and it will store in this variable. So we'll declare it in the declaration section. So it will be in data type and since the data received will be ASCII value. In order to begin the serial communication, we have to initialize it with a baud rate with serial.begin. Default will be 9600. If you want to just see the value coming over the Bluetooth in a serial monitor, just you can uncomment this. So now comes the logic for the motors. So we have to just check the data itself. If data coming is equal to F character, then our robot should move in a forward direction. We will be using the digital write function. So one pin will be high and other one should be low. This is for the first motor and similarly for the second motor as well. If your motors are not rotating as expected, you can directly play with the logic here. Just you have to interchange this low and high. Now we'll write the logic for backward. So if the data coming is B, or both motors should rotate in a backward. So we have to interchange this. High becomes low and this will be high. Similarly here. Next is for write, the character is R, that means write, our right side motor should rotate in the reverse direction, so it will be as it is and the left motor should rotate in forward direction, so we will modify this. If the value is L for left. It's just reverse of the previous one. Our left motors will rotate in backward direction and right motors will rotate in forward. You have to change this right motors. So left motors will go reverse. And the last will be for stop. So if value received is S, all our motors will stop running so all these parameters will be low we have completed the coding part let's upload this and we'll see how it works so we will be making use of the same characters while configuring the app and just make sure you remove this rx pin before uploading Go to play store and search for Bluetooth serial controller and you have to install this application. So I've already installed it. So if you open it asks for the Bluetooth permission just allow it. So this is the interface by default. To control the car we need four buttons forward backward right and left. We have to do some configurations here. Go to preference. visibility so first we'll remove the unwanted buttons 
so we need 4 and 6 and on the right side we just need 12 and 20 and if you go back this is how it looks so now we'll give the name and the key for these buttons again go to preference under button name so button 4 will set as L which stands for left and button 6 will make it as R which is right and button 12 will be F for forward and 20 will be B for backward come back and go to command so to make our work easy we'll give the same characters as we have given the button name so button 4 will give the key as L itself 6 will be R 12 will be F and 20 will be B so we'll be making use of same characters in the code as well so next go to stop command so we have to set the data which is to be transferred when we release the button so that will make it as s for all buttons s stands for stop select the buttons and set the key as s So just for reference come down and turn on this send data so that we can able to see the data which is sent on the screen itself after doing all these configurations turn on Bluetooth and go to Bluetooth settings and first pair the HC05 module with your smartphone the password will be 1234 once it is paired go to the application click on connect and select the HC05 Now everything is working fine, we will attach the wheels and also do the test. So this was all about the Bluetooth controlled car. All source for this project is provided in the description box and also if you have any doubts just leave a comment below and don't forget to watch our other audio tutorials. Thank you for watching, we will be back in the next tutorial.